Hey, so it's been a while since I made a demo video for Super Whisper. Um, I've got a really exciting mode here. It's still an experimental phase, but uh, I want to show it off anyway. It's called Super Mode. Um, you can enable it by heading over to Configuration and just hitting the on switch there. Um, it uh, has a reduced set of configuration options. So basically you can just choose your language, voice model, language model, uh, and the prompt and functionality is, is managed. Um, what it does is it'll actually take context from your screen uh, and help with completion. So it's aware of which application you're using, which input field you're focused on, uh, the uh, usernames and names of people on the screen, um, and uh, the selected text and, and clipboard uh, content. So for example, I can just select this. I don't even have to hit copy. I can say, rewrite the selected text in all caps, just as an example. Um, this little indicator in the top right uh, uh, is the indication that you have selected text or, or text on your clipboard, uh, and that's going to be included with the prompt. Um, so what I can also do is say, uh, at Yassine MTB, totally agreed. I got a bad concussion from rugby in high school and literally saw Looney Tunes stars when I stood up, had to take months off of doing any sort of physical activity, was one of the lowest points of my high school experience. Um, and uh, so you can see there, it actually pulled that Twitter uh, tag. Uh, the, the username uh, and put it in there. Uh, pretty cool. It'll actually do that um, uh, with with names as well. So if say for example, you know you have a friend Sarah who it's spelt without the H, um, where the um, <laughs> where the you know the model would assume you know the most common spelling, um, it'll actually pick up on the fact that Sarah S A R A is on the screen and it'll include that in the prompt uh, and, and the um, resolution will, will decide to use that spelling of the name instead. Um, so really helpful if you're writing emails or something like that. Um, the cool part too is it's going to switch its uh, style and how it's writing depending on which application you have focus. So for example, here I could say, uh, change directory into development folder and um, show me the newest folder within there. So it's gonna actually know that I'm um, within the terminal and it's actually going to, uh, <laughs> so I, you know, I was probably working on Super Whisper most recently, so it has the latest update timestamp. So yeah, um, uh, you know, list, uh, you know, list and then sort according to time and uh, and then, and then uh, pipe that over to head with describing the first line. So pretty cool. Um, you know, it, it can do more complicated things, of course, um, within there. Uh, it's going to depend on which model you have configured and kind of how you prompt it, um, but pretty good. Um, the other really cool thing is if you open up Obsidian or like any, any text editor um, that, you know, a text editor is essentially a big input field, right? Um, and so it's actually going to, in this case, have context for the entire file that you're working on. So uh, I can start off here, like lifetime plans have been a huge uh, reason why Super Whisper has been successful. It allowed me to focus full time on the project way sooner than I would have been able to otherwise. From a monthly expenses standpoint, it really gave me a lot of freedom. And I think it gives big fans a way to really back you early on and get the best product as quickly as possible out into the world. Um, so that's going to know that I'm in Obsidian um, and it's going to just do direct dictation, right? I haven't told it or instructed it to do anything. Um, but now I can actually say, uh, continue the previous paragraph. Um, and it's going to pick up on <laughs> the, what I previously wrote and just continue uh, the thoughts here. Um, add headers to the selected text. Um, I don't actually know how that's gonna turn out. All right, sweet. <laughs> 
cool. So, uh, and I can do stuff like uh, create a table comparing the payment fees uh, for monthly, annual, and lifetime plans where the payment fees have a base cost of 50 cents per transaction. Um, and that's actually going to, again, it's gonna know that I'm in, uh, you know, this table wasn't great. It, it's the same as ChatGPT, right? You gotta prompt it correctly, but um, you know, it picks up on the fact that you're in Obsidian and Obsidian uses Markdown formatting and it's going to format a table for you. Um, so like whenever I'm submitting a prompt here, it's actually going to grab the um, the content of this editor, and this will work with notes, this will work with um, uh, Notion or uh, Word, anything that has a, you know, accessible input field. Um, uh, this would work in, you know, the, the Twitter Compose box as well. Um, you know, uh, without the markdown, of course, uh, <laughs> unfortunately. Um, so, yeah, it's super powerful. Honestly, I'm still exploring all the different use cases and I'd love to hear from the rest of you on how you're using it and, and what's it, what it's useful for. I have been getting really good success with, with the email uh, functionality. Um, um, and uh, yeah, I think I think this is just the beginning of, of something that that is like, um, like kind of a new class of dictation tool. I haven't really seen anything like this yet. So um, that's it. Cheers.